Hello everybody, you are watching MC Esports on the Marietta College Twitch channel. Today we are going to be playing some Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and we are, our Marietta are going to be facing up against Heidelberg. Now hype us up a little bit, Evan, how you doing? Um, I'm doing well. We are both uh, freshmen here. This is our work study opportunity and um, I play on the R6 team. Zach. I play on the Overwatch team. I'm Zach. He's Evan. And today we're going to be playing some Super Smash Brothers. Now, we're going to go straight over to the roster in a moment just to see who, what all players are playing today. And at the moment, here is the full roster of our Super Smash Brothers team. It is the biggest team by far we have this year in, in the esports program. And we're just going to go over the starters today. These are going to be the people you're going to be seeing, the people you're going to be rooting for today. So, First person going right out the front is going to be Zach. Is going to be Zach. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the next person is going to be Ryan. Ryan Bugs is going to be awesome going out there. And um, Aniva is also going to be another, is going to be the third person you'll see out there. Um, all these players, really skilled. We're going to see a lot of skillful gameplay here, a lot of back and forth. And we're hoping to take out this dub. Oh yeah. So the way these Smash games work is it's best of three squad battles. Therefore, um, you send out your first players, three stocks, and you are going to go through your match. Once one person gets to zero stocks, you then switch out and whoever um, goes through all three players first loses um, that round. And then as you go through, the person that is left over from the last match, the winner, they will start with however many stocks remaining they had from the last round and go from there until it reaches zero stocks per team. Three round, or best of three, so first team to two total rounds will end up picking up this win today. Yep, that's right. I'm just about right. So this is going to be uh, hopefully a long match. We're going to see a lot of a lot of awesome Super Smash Brothers here. We're going to see both teams battling it out. So it's going to be Marietta against Heidelberg today, one of our rivals. And it seems that we're getting in the lobby here right now. So we're going to go and switch over to the lobby screen so we can see everything happening. And here it is, boys. We're going to see Zach pulling it out, or better known as the weed, pulling it out, the Little Mac, against this Pikachu. See, they start out pretty aggressive. Little Max starting out. Little Max taking punches. a little bit of damage here. Good blocking. Oh, what nice a combo. combo. Already getting some good damage out. Both of these, if I do recall correctly, are more speed-based characters. So they are going to be going for fast combo-based attacks. Yes. A Pikachu mainly in the air. Well, oh, what a shield break! Big punch, and that's going to be the final nice. taken by Weed. Weed is going to be taking that stock, and then Pikachu coming back right into it, going fast. But Little Mac has a KO punch here. The Lightning's not going to hit. Counter, not quite. I'll get that 7% in, trying to start off that combo. A little bit of shield poke here. The side smash is not going to connect. We're going to see Pikachu trying to jump up in the air, trying to get a juggle trick on. Okay, that's a good... Oh, he air dodged off the map! Unlucky! He tried to air dodge back to the ledge, but instead he air dodged right into an SD. Now we're going to see Little Mac getting that good early 22%. We're going to see... Going in a lot there. of defensive play here for two very aggressive players. Pikachu Seen really trying to get those aerials in. You see Little Mac really likes playing on the ground here while Pikachu loves to go for in the air. Look there's at these. There's juggle. the aerial. Not quite getting the combo he wanted. I want to see Little Mac. Just charging up that smash, trying to catch Pikachu lacking. 61 to 32. Got to get some damage back on the board here. Oh, that's a big smash attack, but the KO punch comes online for the weed here. Oh, doesn't quite hit the KO punch. Pikachu really getting nice that good shield. shield pressure. Pikachu just recovering. Not quite. Little Ooh. Mac off the stage. This is dangerous. And that's going to be the second stock taken away from the weed. Heidelberg starting out strong here. Hopefully... Weed can uh, recover here and take another stock off of him before this next round and potentially get a little bit of reverse sweeping action. Let's see, Marietta. 
slowly poking and prodding at this Pikachu. That's and there it. we go. That's the hit he needed. Ooh. Just recovered on stage, but the landing lag really comes in clutch there for Little Mac. 77% playing close to the edge. This is dangerous. Little Mac can easily get gimped off the stage. Oh, that was very close. He's up in the air. Pikachu loves when Little Mac's up in the air. Little Mac has no defense in the air. His air attacks are just vastly just work worse than his ground attacks. See if he can get those combos off again. Nice touch. It's good up tilt. Getting some pressure onto Pikachu. That's a good side. Go. Very good side B. Pikachu does recover. The weed does not going next to that ledge. She knows how dangerous it is for Little Mac to go next to that edge. Waiting, poking, prodding. The KO punch comes on. Oh, oh, he doesn't hit it. But there it, there is. it is. The counter. Counter gets him his stock. And it's now it's really even, good. except 75% lead for the Pikachu here. Heidelberg is really making the weed work for it here. Well, the Max dash attack's going in. going to get a good chunk of damage here to get a potential win here. There we go. Big There's damage the there. Uh, he takes but that it right neutral back. air is going to really take the damage on him. Now, Pikachu has really hard time actually getting kill percentage here. There's a lot of moves that he can do to get a lot of good percentage, but not a lot of moves he has to actually, nice damage. To actually get the other player a stock. Just misses that Thunder Strike. That Lightning would have been massive for Pikachu if he landed it there. What a play oh, back and forth. Both side smash were side smash, both just out of measure. Another touch there. He's starting to bring it closer back to him. Let's see. Little Mac with a KO punch. If he hits this, it's game. If he hits it. Oh! He doesn't quite hit it. It was so close. A frame off. We're going to see what Pikachu has. Little Mac off the ledge. But the side, nice touch. The side B is going to go, go off of the roll back again. Little Mac hates being in this position. Will he recover? He oh, can recover! Oh, 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 and so that's going to be. That's going to be. one of this first match. That's going to be. Yep, round one, and that's going to be Little Mac going down, and that's going to be... Now we rotate out, and we see Six what stocks to next. seven at the moment. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's going to be six stocks to seven at the moment. So how this works, now Pikachu is going to go into the next game with one stock. So we're going to see the Pikachu kind of run off the map here, but that's definitely fine. Now they're going to be choosing their fighters here real quick. And we're going to have the second player, Dinku, go in as Roy. This is our team captain for the Smash team. Has a lot of experience and is willing to put in some dirty work for this team. So hopefully he can pull this match back and make it a quick 1-0 to even up the scoreboard. Yes. See as they're getting ready to get in. It's getting ready to get in here. And now here we go, round two. Players Ready to are fight. switching sides, I believe so. Switching sides. Well, we're just gonna wait. No rush here. It's gonna be a long, great game day for esports. A little bit of switching of the map here. Still going on the Pokemon so stadium. on that last match, we really saw Pikachu play to their strengths and really saw Little Mac try to try to work to against that Pikachu. So whenever you're playing against a Little Mac, what you have to do, you have to get him off stage. If Little Mac is on stage, he's winning. Mm -hmm. As soon as Little Mac goes off stage, he cannot recover. He just does not have the tools that every other character in the game does. You have Pikachu who can cover from basically the bottom half of the screen and can just blink up straight to the ledge when Little Mac really has to try his hardest to get to that ledge and can be easily stopped as we saw by Pikachu's neutral B, his projectile, can go around the stage and hit Little Mac and then he lost his jump. Twice that happened, where he was on the ledge recovering, and he got hit by that little ball of lightning. Yep. So now we are about ready to get to the second match. Ready. I am excited. All there right, go. we're going to see Roy versus Pikachu here. First, we're going to see this Pikachu SD two times, just to make it even, just so it's just one stock, two, three. Mm -hmm. See this start real quick. There it goes. There we go. Poor Pikachu. He's just a boy. Best Pokemon character. <laughs> okay, and now... And they start. 
Taunt. Start. There we are. Nice. Good. Nice parry there. Sportsmanship. That's a great. See, so just slowly poking out here. Just slowly as it goes. There we go. Already getting 32%. 32%. The There's that air combo. Ooh, but the down air. Again, Roy also has a hard time off stage. So this is going to be very... What we what, this is what we saw with Little Mac is basically the same game plan here for Pikachu. Get Roy off stage. But as soon as Roy is on stage, the one difference between Little Mac and Roy is that Roy is great on the ground and in the air. So he can go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with this Pikachu as he's going for these aerials. What's really going to be important is to see if Heidelberg can take one stock off because that'll be very beneficial to them in this upcoming third round. Yes, Heidelberg is just looking for one. They get their one, that's all they need, really. It's all about that the stock game. Marietta is going to be playing from behind instead of playing on an even playing field. We're going to see Roy going a little bit off stage here. Oh, what an up air! Up smash, Already my taking huge 128% to 72. But again, Roy has amazing kill potential, and Pikachu is a medium light, is a medium weight character. They could die at 72% or 81 as it is now with just one smash attack. And that's right, what I'm talking goes. about. Just like I said, one smash attack away from this game being even, and there we are. That evens up the score. Heidelberg six, Marietta six at the moment. You can see the elation on the camera from Zach there. <laughs> they are going crazy, really rooting their team on here. And there's Dinku, calm as always. Dinku is in the zone, he is focused. As the team captain, he is focused, he's ready to perform for his team. <laughs> Look at that dance. Look at him go. He is excited to see some Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, just like we are. And uh, of course, have to turn on the good music. Oh, these guys. Look, the music is... Oh, there we go, yep. Yeah. This is the Persona 5 song that... This gets you in the zone for <laughs> coming back. This is what it is. Now we're going to see, with this music on 100%, we're just going to see Ding Dinku just absolutely go 6-0. No stocks last here. That's what we're going to see, right? We hope. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see if we can get this match started up here soon. Next player is in and ready for Heidelberg. Looks Incineroar! Like right. Heavy hitter. Okay, we have a heavy we have a heavyweight versus a medium weight. Roy versus Incineroar. This matchup usually favors the Roy here, but if Incineroar gets his com it gets the counters and continuously gets good damage, it will see a very very one sided game. That. Ooh, there he goes. There's good that combo. combo already. Getting the nice 24%, but evens it out here. There's Incineroar going for that counter. Really important part of this kit. If he gets that counter, it is lights out for Roy. It literally di differentiates the kill percentage by like 20%. That's how important the Incineroar's counter is. Can also and see look it. at that. Beautiful combos in the air, and that's almost stock one with that side smash. And that is there stock is. one! Yeah, this Incineroar is going to have a good time on this map because there's next to, or there is no ledges aside from this one island that they're playing on. They don't have any vertical yeah. play to Final it. destination. It's the only oh, way they're going off. It's a great command grab there. You're going to see what a spike. And he doesn't recover. That's oh, an SD. Is. That's, That's really good. good. That is great for Marietta here. Marietta needed that lead there. See, and that's the thing with Incineroar. Incineroar has a very difficult time recovering as well. And that might oh, be there it goes. that counter. He had to counter there. It's just this, the, the thing that he just had to, had to do. But that counter cost him a stock. And now we see 0% is just 70%. But Incineroar has two stocks left. Again, if he can just take one off of Incineroar here. Oh, what really a great, great grab there. Nice little quick jab. Instant 40% on to Marietta here. Nice. Keep him off ledge. That's good. He will be able to recover. Oh, Ooh. what an up B. Very ballsy. Good. Nice. Counter. Counter Evens there. it out. We are even at the moment. Although still Marietta with a 74% deficit. Now increasing it's Roy. to 85. He can, it's Roy. He can definitely bring this back easily. He has the range on Incineroar. He just has to play time. If he gets hit by one smash attack, right now could be the end. Incineroar is charged up. Let's see it. Roy has to play extremely, extremely careful here. And there's the back air. 
Right here. Oh, just down. misses. Just misses. Oh, that's big damage. 142%. Any move from Incineroar about now can kill. Even the jab. There it and is. as we see, Dinku there's goes that down neutral B. Still going to go into the fourth match now. Going into the fourth match. With a one match. stock lead. This Ariana is. Down to their last three. This is insanely back and forth, as we oh, see. Oh, yes. Both of these teams are very competitive here. We're going to see the third player from MC Esports going up against Heidelberg's Incineroar. So now the time to see what this girl can do. Yes. Saw so Dinku was playing that Roy. And now we're going to go over to Anaba. There with the Min Min. As we saw, there's a lot of short range characters that Heidelberg are playing. This Min Min pick is really beneficial. Min Min has the range to completely counter Incineroar. Oh, yeah. Incineroar has to get close. He has no range at all. So Min Min has I infinite range, basically. <laughs> I'm bopping to this music. Loving this it. This music is awesome. Alrighty. Going. That was Final Destination, which is just a flat map there. Can't hear the music. We're turning that baby up for you real quick, don't worry. Alrighty. Turning up the music for the viewers here. Have to hear the Persona 5 It's about movie. as high as we can take it with this okay. current yeah. move. I believe it should be good. And whenever the game starts. It's gonna it's gonna get louder and the game intensity is gonna be there. We are a min min. See if that min min can just take this one stock off. Just the one stock. This incineroar is gonna need to try and take off a stock of min min to give them an advantage going into the sixth round. Unless this incineroar sweeps, but we will see as we start. Homie stops. There we go. Three to one start. Taunt. And here we go. Off to the races. Min Min already utilizing her range here. But Incineroar got close. Incineroar, what a beautiful combo. 41% on one touch. It's going to be... Incineroar is not letting Min Min get that range. Wow. Beautiful. There's the grapple. There's the grapple. Just waiting on the ledge. Good side smash, but it's gonna be big damage. 96% already. This stock is already taken! And so we're, that's all he needed to do, but he's at 17%. He's looking for more. This is really big for Heidelberg's first round. Oh, look at that counter. Incineroar is charged up and ready to do some insane damage. And that's gonna be a stock. There it that's is. gonna be the stock. Now we see going into the final match of this first round. Three Two to three. Two. Oh. This is exhilarating. Let's see what Heidelberg pulls out next. See what they have for answer into Min Min. Anava is going to have to play. He, she's, she's playing from behind here. She has to be able to catch up and get a quick stock. That is just the contingency plan that she has to go for. Oh yeah. Try to take as little damage as possible, get that first stock, and then get the ball rolling. You need to even out the playing field here. Yep, and we'll see as Heidelberg is probably getting ready. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what map they pick up now. See map. So we saw a lot of different just one platform maps, no platforms, and then the two platform map. We haven't really saw a battlefield map quite yet. We saw a um, destination map. We saw a hollow bash in here. We're gonna see the next map pick. Usually all these maps are not gonna be having the map transitions you would play in more of a chilled out play. Because we just want it to be in a competitive environment. If you have race cars going down the track, <laughs> killing the players, it's not really good for competition there. We're going to have Pokemon Stadium. What a classic, classic map. So many in Super Smash Bros. Melee and everything, you will see the Pokemon Stadium pick go out. And it's just a great map to round it off. 
This here is the deciding round of the first round. We'll have to see what happens here. Let's see what's going to be Heidelberg's answer. And while we're waiting around, um, some awesome sponsors that Marietta has. Picked up um, a good chunk over the summer. Over the summer. Uh, one of the... Oh? Actually? We'll get back to the sponsors. We'll get back to the sponsors. We have a Pyra Mithra going against a Min Min. This duo is not liked by a lot of players, and we're going to see why. A good Mithra Pyra is going to be absolutely impossible to play against. But Min Min is going to just you know, SD first, of course, to even the stocks. There we go. And then go to their respective side. And emote. And there, there it is. Go. This Min Min has to put on the work. Anava already getting that nice 24%, keeping that range. It's gonna be Heidelberg going in. Good range on that. Yeah, Good shield is. poke, 33%, that's amazing. Keeping that Keep range that Min Min needs. There you go. Put up till 51%, that's awesome. The double is great, smash. still not taking any damage. Really there. keeping that good range. Pyramith, they're trying to get in here. Has not only gotten a small touch on to Marietta. There it is. There's a little bit of damage coming forth. Percent. Good poke. Good poke for Min Min. What a smash attack. There we go. 85%. Only kill percentage. Oh, swapped over to Pyra here. And here we see here we see the the side B is coming out for that good poke damage. Just gonna have to play patiently, see as, take as much as you can. See, I believe Pyra has way more range than Mithra, as we see here. So this is exactly what they need to do. They need to swap characters just so they could actively touch the Min Min here. There we go. 89%, very close there. 100%. This could be there! There we go. That's a super big hit. close. Big hit indeed. See Min Min again, just keeping There's that another. range, keeping her the Pyra off stage. That oh, was nice a very shield. close one. Heidelberg. We're gonna see Marietta trying to compensate for their. There's a there nice go, There's stock. that stock. Marietta see the now elation. even, but with 89% still playing from behind here. Marietta has to even this out in percentage as quick as they can. Pyra's not gonna let that be easy. Oh, close to the ledge here. You know how Anava likes to play. Min Min's got that grapple, which makes it very easy for this character to get back on the stadium. Ah, oh, just the tip of that sword. Oh, back on the stage. Jump, what a great jump. Good read. Oh, oh that's big. almost a stock. 135%. Anything Regardless. can kill at this point. Great Again, hit, great hit, combo. trying to get back onto stage. Min Min at a very precarious situation here. 150. Any good touch will send her off the stage, and that is close. 161. Min Min just has to work at getting good percentage here. Walks into that side B, trying to get that poke off. Regardless, we'll be able to just get back onto that ledge. With back that on the stage, back on the ledge. And there's going to be a smash attack. attack. Okay, Marietta has to come forward here. 44% onto the Mithra. Gonna see. Gonna have to try and take as little damage as possible for Marietta to keep this game close going down to this last stock. Stock just has to, has to go. Marietta needs a big combo here. Nice dodge on that. That's there we a go. great, Keeping that's exactly what Marietta up. needs. Good shield. Okay, Pyra getting close and personal. 61% on Marietta. He's gonna grapple to the ledge. But, and that's gonna there be the is. game! That's, that's gonna be round one going to Heidelberg. Keeping it insanely close. We saw that Incineroar taking that one stock was Meant basically it. the decider. Exactly. There we go. Two so now we go one. to a quick little break here as we give Heidelberg their first points of this match. So they take it one, two, zero. So yeah, so Heidelberg really that game really played to their strengths. We saw Incineroar, whenever they got the map pick 
Final Destination, that is a beautiful map for Incineroar. Incineroar just does not want to play aerials at all. Incineroar wants to have you on the ground, bump you up into the air, hit you a couple times, get you to that 60% threshold. Whenever it gets that 60% threshold, you, against an Incineroar, one touch and you're done. There's nothing you can do. We saw Nava there taking the last match, actually, to pretty close point. It was getting pretty heated up, and as we see, we got the weed back in. The weed is back in. This is a fresh round, fresh everything. This, it is right now 0-1. Marietta needs to win this round if they're going to still stay in this for their first game of the season. So the first round or that first whole match actually went by fairly quickly, only 20 minutes. So we'll see if they can give this a little more length. I'd like to see these players continue to play and battle it out with each other. So we'll see as they're picking up maps here and getting back in. We saw awesome gameplay there. We saw the weed on that little Mac really showing that he he can put it put some work on it. He just needs to really make sure that he is not off stage at all. Really, there that um, the Pikachu was just able to just aerial against him and really just make the Little Mac unable to play. Truly, the best way to play up against the Little Mac is just sit by the edge and mm -hmm. just wait for the Little Mac to come to you. And whenever the Little Mac comes to you, just throw him off the edge, hit him once, and boom. He died at 10% because he can't recover. Yep. And it's unfortunate because even though that Pikachu still ended up winning, Little Mac took that very close in a disadvantageous position, and we'll see if he's going to pick it back up and if they're going to match again with the Pikachu, see how this map goes next. I'm definitely sure that we're going to see, regardless of who's going up first or who's going up next, we're definitely going to see some great competition. Now, both of these, uh, both teams have now felt each other out. They know the play styles, and now this is the time for adjustments. This is why we have three rounds in this is why this is a best of two out of three series is now adjustments can be made if a player let's say they have a let's say they have like a joker in their back pocket that they can pull out and they're like okay this guy if he goes up against my joker curtains that's why we have this round here marietta can now adjust and same thing goes for heidelberg if heidelberg knows look man with incinera i just can't really play against this min min very well then he can just swap Mm -hmm. And real quick, while we're waiting for this next game to start up, um, I'd like to thank some sponsors. Uh, we have our long-standing sponsor, HyperX, who has been with us for quite a while now, and they have given us microphones, keyboards, headsets, mice, mouse pads. They do so much for our program, and we really appreciate them here. And as that ends up, we are starting our next match here now. Again. See that Pikachu and Little Max starting up again. Yep. Let's see Same what adjustments before, can be made for now. The we here. see there are no. Oh, there's moving platforms here. So we're gonna see Little Mac getting a good percentage on right now. But again, getting close to that edge. Pikachu likes being here. Little Mac does not. That li landing lag really had an impact there. Whoa! What a shield break! Same as last! Nice! Running and you see the elation. Zach is dialed in. As He's we saw, ready. literally just wind back the clock about 20 minutes ago. We saw the same exact thing first round. Pikachu has to manage their shield against this Little Mac, except the difference here is that Little Mac is sitting at a nice 0%. And is already bringing Pikachu to 71, and it's still not been touched. There's the first touch for Pikachu, the grab. A down grab, not even trying to toss him off stage here. Big jab. Pikachu trying to recover, just waiting for that side smash to go down. There he goes, off the map. And he's got that KO punch. See what he can do One here. One KO punch, and this Pikachu is out. Good jab off stage. Pikachu recovers. Oh, yeah, the KO punch doesn't it. quite land. Regardless of that KO punch, Pikachu is still sitting at 104% to 38. Zach is taking a strong lead here in this first match. The weed is two. definitely has the sauce. He is dialed. All that time he had waiting. There it is! Second stock. 
What an insane, insane play there. Forgot to reset those scores real quick, and there we go. Already down two stocks for Heidelberg, and if Zach can stay in here at healthy three stocks, that what is huge. huge. He's just putting in work on this Pikachu percent. now. Oh, oh, shield. There it is. 113 already. And Pikachu, there it is. There we go. Look at him. He is Three, absolutely ecstatic. Two, zero. Look at what that. What a statement. What a comeback from that first match. The weed is dialed in. He is here to smoke his competition. That was exciting. That was awesome. Hopefully we'll see him do the same against this Incineroar now, because he didn't end up getting to play against this Incineroar, and we'll see what a medium weight against a heavyweight can do here. And actually, what we're going to see, we're going to see a very, very um, similar matchup. They both want to play the same way. Oh, yeah. Incineroar and Mac just want to brawl it out on the ground. The only <laughs> thing is, is that Incineroar has a slight better recovery than Little Mac, but Incineroar hits way harder than Little Mac does. Little Mac, I believe he's a medium weight or a lightweight, not a heavyweight like, like um, Incineroar, Incineroar is. is. So Incineroar is going to be able to take more damage, but he is slower. So if Little Mac can just run circles around this Incineroar, we're going to see some work. And what an amazing lead that Marietta Esports has here. We saw the last round going back and forth, but this one, a 3-0 sweep. First round. And look at him dancing again. He is feeling himself here today. He All smiles insane. on the Marietta couch. One thing we did forget to mention before is our head coach for the esports program, uh, Coach Games. Uh, he has put in so much work over the summer to get us all sorts of sponsors and get this program some life. And we've had a ton of new recruits coming in. I believe it was 11 commits for freshmen, and we got another seven or so walk-ons just in over a three-month period, which was wild. And now this this room gets very packed now, and it's, it's great to see the community that we've built here. So huge thanks to Coach Derek here. Yes, Coach Derek really put in all the work and feeling that energy of all of the Smash team, all 11 players absolutely shouting it out and giving all that energy to their team. This is, yes, we only see about three people playing, but this is a team sport. They're all hyping each other up and making sure they all play to their best. And here we are. Little Mac versus Incineroar. This one is going to be an all-out brawl. Oh yeah, this is going to get aggressive quick. The weed smells blood in the water, and he's and there going. There it is. What? A Statement punch. 37% start. 37%. Not quite shielding that one to get that ending lag punish. There it is. Another big punch here. Wow. And there's the juggle. There's that work. Oh, but Incineroar with a counter. It's a big counter. Again, Little Mac, one touch, and he's at 40% with this. Incineroar really wants these grab attacks, and if he can just space his character well against him, can put in some really good work, and there's another quick up. Oh, wow, what a side B. What a statement! What wow. a statement! What a play from 9%. the weed. He is working this Mac. Oh, and Cedar doesn't quite hit the input in time. What a counter. That's an insane counter. The percentile, the more damage you do to that counter, the more, better the counter is. The next hit is going to be massive for Incineroar. If he can land it on Little Mac. Oh, he doesn't quite hit the input. He's a little bit, oh, he doesn't hit it again. We're gonna, oh my goodness. Incineroar has Ooh. to hit it. Look at that. There's One the KO touch punch. Straight for 83%. This KO punch will send him straight off the edge of the map if he hits it, just waiting there menacingly. And there's Incineroar trying to go for that combo. And he might be able to hit it here because he is up against a slower character. And so does oh, it. It's not even to recover. Three to one lead. Three to one lead at the moment. Little Mac making a statement. The weed bringing it back for his team. He He's knows it is time for him to perform. putting in damage too. 
What a hit. The good counter. He hits the input, Ooh. and that's going to be Max Ferk's stock down. That's the first stock for Marietta, and it's already five taken off of the board Two. for Heidelberg. This is a Eight. huge amount of work that Zach has put in here. And I think he wants to go for a little more. He wants to make it to the third person. He wants to make it to the third round all by himself. Sweep. What a Sarah performance. That recover. 35, 120. This is dangerous for Incineroar, missing those attacks there. Whoa, Little Mac can punch. counter so easily. His smash attacks are so fast. You have to have great wow. reaction time to play against this character. We're going to see it right here. There's the neutral B. There's a good speed coming out. Speed. They're all playing passive. Zach doesn't there it is! There it is. And that's going to be you going to game three. Now, the game three, round three. Eight to three at the moment, only losing one stock. That's crazy. What an insane play. Eight to three lead. Statement coming out from Zach. The weed was cooking on this. He knew that if I don't bring this up right now, we're going to be in a deficit. So I got to play for my team. And this is why this game is a team sport. And right now, Zach can just coast. If he wanted to, he has his team to rely on, but I think he wants to go all three. He wants to win all three rounds for his team. Exactly. This is a, again, I, I'm lost for words. It's just a statement coming out from Zach, tearing up these battlefields. He made sure that he that he is going to perform this game. He was dialed in. That first round was a warm up against that Pikachu. <laughs> he is dialed. He is ready. We'll see what map they pick up here now. And while we're waiting, we want to thank another huge sponsor edition that, again, Coach Games picked up for us over the summer. Um, we picked up Incrediware, which is a clothing brand that is designed to increase circulation in your joints. And they gave us a ton of of equipment and we all got little care packages really appreciate the sponsorship from these guys to help us stay uh, nimble and loose for these games exactly incrediware they have gloves they have uh, elbow they have elbow sleeves they have arm sleeves they have wristbands they have hats socks. they have socks they have back braces they really help with recovery and whenever you're gaming for a large amount of time, especially more FPS games, or even in Super Smash Bros, your fingers get tired. Oh, yeah. And you still have to play. Weed, at the moment, still has to play, like, three rounds in a row, and this still is not the end of it. Playing that long on a controller can really be tiring on the hands, so wearing those gloves to get that active that active heating and nice... Oh, Samus! Samus. What a pick! Let's see here. Little pick. Mac versus Samus. Samus loves to play range, and look at this. They get a battlefield map. This is most see likely... See SD first, and we'll get Whoa, this. whoa, whoa. Is she charging her down, B? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What did I... It's okay. Let's just go with it. Oh, Little Mac oh, going hey. in fast. 15%. He has to get in on this Samus. If this Samus has time to breathe, Little Mac is not going to have a great time. So you get you see him playing very on. aggressive, closing Samus that distance. <laughs> Very passive here. The missiles are going to go out. Samus is just running from edge to the edge of the map here. Little Mac patrolling the streets here. Very even match so far. Samus does insane amount of damage. There's that four to what a combo there. But now the KO, KO punch. punch. The all important. We haven't seen the weed land a single KO punch yet. It Regardless. will happen eventually. And that's going to be stock uh, one down. Samus. There goes it's that just KO punch. The perfect counter to Little Mac. This could not be a more this could not be a better pick. We'll just have to see how long he can last. If he can take one, even one stock, it'll be huge for this upcoming round. Yes, for Dink you. Regardless, what a performance from the weed so far. Slow as it goes, oh that shield pressure. Samus' shield is very low at the moment. One more hit from Little Mac. And it will be a break, and that'll be a stock for free. What a parry, Samus. Great reaction on the weed with the parry back. 100%. This is kill percentage. Side B. Doesn't quite hit him, really. 
would have been a devastating blow if he could have landed that. That would have been instant stock. Oh, the uppie playing with fire here. He just can't get a hold of the Samus. He's got that KO punch though. Oh, that hit is massive. What a KO there punch! Is. There it is. There's the first stock, and now. And that's gonna be the Wii almost going out. It's gonna be just fine here. Fixing the scores a little bit as we go into this game. There's gonna be a good percentage here. It's gonna be Little Mac running it down, trying to get on Samus here. Samus Very is one smash attack another. away. That's a great grab right off the He's stage. Got that KO punch. Yeah, but Aww, that's gonna be is. Little Mac off the stage, and that's what we're talking about. You get range on Little Mac, you just can't recover. Regardless, what a great start to this second match or in this series. <laughs> so we see a six to two lead coming out, put in a huge amount of work, and now he passes it right over to the captain. We're gonna see Dinku. Gonna pull it out here at the moment. What a steady lead, six to two. Going in the favor of Marietta. What an insane performance from the weed. That is just the type of performance that you only dream about as the second or third player. Because now your job is just, honestly, your, out. Your, your job right now is don't fumble. That's yeah. it. If you fumble the ball, that's on you. That's on you. Right now, you have been given this W on a silver platter. The weed has set you up with this five course meal. You just have to eat it. Oh yeah. See him fixing up the music again to their liking. Gotta As get in get the in. zone. Let's see if he's gonna run the Roy or take something different here. He's just gonna Roy run the Roy. Versus Samus. Again, not a great matchup for Roy. But it is. It is better. Main. It is his main. It is so. his main. So, he's gonna be running it down with Roy. And this is a way better stage for Roy. Yep. Only we'll one platform SD. for Samus to just deal Play with. off of, yeah, it's very good. There we go, emotes coming in. Samus again, just wants to play very far away. Play for range, play for those missiles oh. and all that poke. 41, 54% already, good counter. On that multi-hit attack. There it is. A good chunk of damage coming out for that Roy. Oh, really there's that grab. grab. Oh, that's a big hit. Roy's off stage. Wow. This is very, very scary. Keeps landing these grabs. How frustrating is this gonna get? Coming. That's a great hit, and Roy cannot recover. Oh, he, he just can. is! He just recovers, got the perfect frame. Regardless, still at 190. And that's going to be the there first stock down. This is going to be very difficult to deal with. This Samus is looking amazing from Heidelberg here. Just got to take off one oh, stock the of the triple up there. 45% in the first couple seconds of being out of invulnerability frames. Good hit. Okay. This could be the start of it. And the grab off stage. And then... Oh, it's so close. Oh, and he gets up! Way wow. to a down smash. Just gotta take one stock. Cannot go into this. Third versus third. Come on, third. Dinku. You got this. See, as he just gotta start poking away at it. Heidelberg really putting up a fight on their third player here. Again, this is what I'm talking about. The adjustments that can be made. Between round one and round two, so you I know that a lot of these players don't want to play super high recovery characters. So we're going to see Roy really struggling against this Samus. Is it good? Oh, this is great. One stock is very feasible here from the Roy. Just need one stock. That's all he needs. If he gets one stock, really makes this game doable. But if he goes down here, this is going to be some very hard work for the third player for Marietta. And that's going to be a combo that takes him, it takes his stock away. Wow. This is frustration is on Dinku. This is putting work. 
That's frustrating. And just as I was talking about that all you have to do is not fumble the bag. Yeah, <laughs> you had to cast or curse it, right? I cast or cursed. <laughs> Thank you here. Thank you not getting a single stock off of the Samus. Samus now is on fire. you leave it fire. to clean up with an Ava. See what she can do. See what she's just going to pick up here. Anava usually plays the Min Min. Let's see what she picks. She's going right for it. Right to her comfort pick, the Min Min. Whew. This is going to be a brawl. Min Min has the range to contest the Samus. So this is good. You just, now, had, you just come down to skill. I mean, you've got three stocks to two. Three so stocks you do have the advantage, but the, he is on a hot streak. The advantage that Weed has given Anasa here is going to be amazing. That is exactly what they need, is that that lead. And we're going to see just this map being picked. Very tactical um, picks on these maps here. You really want to get a map that is bad for Samus and is great for Min Min. Which there are some maps that Samus just cannot get good range on. That map was in favor of the Roy ships. The Samus is just playing patty cake and is completely ignoring the Roy. The grab and throw attacks were killer. As we see them load up this final match of, or final round of match two. See, so Samus has that, um, that tether grab. So Samus has the range on Roy with grabs. So now let's see this, Min Min versus Samus. Homie stock down. <laughs> and now we're gonna see the taunts come out and off to the races. Let's see what kind of work Min Min can put in here. Both players want to play very slow, very passive. What a combo, 41% already. Those are the type of Samus combos that you just, if you get hit by them, it's just There's brutal. There's damage for the Min Min. 46% already. We saw these two battle Ooh, it nice now. Nice dodge down to just one stock. Again, that grab. Nasa. Get, kinda worked here. Doesn't have a jump, cannot recover. Already two to bringing two at the back. moment. Two to two. You see. Already putting in some great damage. See, we were talking about the hot streak of the weed. Heidelberg is this Samus Third is going on an amazing in. streak at the moment. Giving Marietta a run for their money. Just have to see what it comes down to. 67, 72, 50%. Just have to play against this projectile here. And that's going to be right off the stage, that projectile. And that's going to be an up B, an up big smash, damage. and that's big damage. Min Min is at kill percentage at the moment. Same with the Samus. Good shield there. It's taking huge damage. Play slow. Good nice dodge. dodge. Oh, Ooh, big so damage so again. Damage. That's another, and that's going to be another stock taken off of Marietta. Marietta needs to take a stock Two off stock of round. Demon. It's a good poke coming from Anava. If we get this kill very quickly, Anava will be able to tie it up to make it one stock to one stock, and that's great damage. That's a great start. Samus is in the air. Minion. Mm -hmm. It's a clutch moment. They have to clutch up here. Just one stock. One stock needs to go, and then it's even. What a match. Heidelberg really putting in the work, this third player. What a grab. Oh. Off the ledge. And the combo. Almost with the spike. Playing with fire here. Oh, what a combo. The side air into the forward tilt. And that's gonna be the third stock gone for Marietta. Round two and the game goes to Heidelberg. What? What a performance from Heidelberg. That's, that's insane. The two stock demon from Heidelberg. That was unforeseen. That was insane. The weed absolutely crushed the first and second player. Got a stock off. And that, Safe for round two. I believe, that's, I believe that's game. Yep. yep, that's game, everyone. That was the Super Smash Brothers game. What an unfortunate series of events there for Marietta. The weed was on an absolute hot streak, but Dinku just could not get.
the the stock he needed on that Samus. That well Samus. And that's what we see between the two teams. That's why we have those rounds in between. The third member of Heidelberg, they, they had the read. They knew. They knew that these characters wanted to play very fast-paced and close range. So Samus is just going to be, I'm not going to let you do that. You're not going to have the ability to play that close range. Mm -hmm. So very unfortunate that Marietta could not bring out that dub first game of the season, but it was close. Both games went down to only two stocks on Heidelberg's side. Mm -hmm. That third player is a clutch god yeah, for well, Heidelberg. 0-1 for Super Smash Team start of the season. Let's see. Well, I'm excited to see what they can do from here because that was an exciting first match. Honestly, if I was the Smash Team, I would not be that upset. Just I mean, <laughs> work, a little bit, work a little bit against Samus. That's it. Right here, if we're taking anything away from this game, is that we need to work on against poke characters at the moment. Like yeah. we can we can brawl up against an Incineroar, we can get the combo the combo starts of Pikachu, we can deal with those guys, but this poke. And that's what we see in a lot of um, so some teams really do struggle with the poke. Because how do you how do you touch them? How do you get next to them? Mm -hmm. Next to a Samus. You just it's one of those things you just have to have the read on the Samus. So that was an unfortunate amount of events, but later on today, we do have some other games going on. We're going to be streaming basically all day for all the viewers here. The next game in the series is going... I'm sorry. Oh, today, the next game the next today, game today. Yeah, in the series. Oh, we're playing till 10 games here for Super oh, Smash yeah. Bros. <laughs> so, uh, so we're going to be streaming some Valorant next, and our Valorant team is looking pretty strong this year. Agreed. We do have one of our sub players coming in because one of our starters is on break or is away for the weekend. So we'll have to see what they can do with this sub. Hopefully they can take uh, their first match of the season. But for now, we are going to head on break and we will see you when the next match starts.